Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's actually been quite a while, a pretty long while since I actually got a video up. Um, been actually strategizing, putting up a lot of things, trying to find a niche which to go into. Uh, and I'm proud to inform you that I've gotten one. <laughs> yeah, uh, mostly going to be over the next couple of months actually experimenting on, um, you know, moving online, having an online presence, uh, using the uh, online media to improve yourself or your businesses and stuff like that. So, yeah, stay tuned. Um, in the meanwhile, for this video, we'll be talking about productive things to do at home. Okay, you know, um, all over the world recently, um, due to the pandemic, We've had a lot of reasons to um, stay at home. In fact, a lot of nations have had to impose um, mandatory quarantine in the homes, right? So um, even in Nigeria here, uh, in the state, uh, the national capital, FCT, we've had to stay at home. We'll be staying at home for the next 14 days, okay? So in this video, we're talking about things you can do at home. So, you know, you don't just, the time doesn't just go like that, right? You don't um, just waste the time and at the end of the day, you begin to um, regret why I didn't do maximize this, you know, um, stay at home period. Okay, so the best productive thing you can do at home is to improve your health. Okay, now when I talk about health, um, according, to, according to the WHO, um, you know, health is um, a state of physical, mental, spiritual well-being of an individual, not just the absence of illness right so in order to improve your health in it we're talking about um, you know improving your physical health you can start exercising um, you know you can do some uh, indoor exercises right some stretches uh, skipping rope to keep the blood pumping you know just there are a lot of YouTube channels that actually help with that to help uh, they help you know create um, an exercise routine that you can do from home so do check some of them out for mental health, you can start journaling. Journaling is a very good way of relieving stress. You can start meditating also. For spiritual health, you can actually start spending a little more time with God. You know, personal prayer time, um, especially since uh, mass gatherings has been banned. Has you know they've had to impose a ban on all of them. Uh, you know, during this period, um, no more church going. You know, no more communal worship especially physically of course um churches are beginning to move their services online and even the mass online okay but you know on a personal thing on a personal growth speaking of a personal growth now um you know personal time of prayer personal bible study really go a long way to help your spiritual health secondly clean your environment okay so um a lot of people have been really busy like for me, I've actually been really busy over the past couple of days. I've actually had to be staying outside my home for the past couple of, for about two weeks now. So my home, coming back home, is being quite a mess. Okay, so um, now uh, during this time when you're at home, okay, make out the time to clean your immediate environment, declutter. You know, thirdly, learn a new skill. Okay, now this is something that people don't really um, maximize. I'll say, okay, this is an opportunity people don't really maximize so much. We have a lot of online learning platforms where you can actually learn new skills okay you speak of coursera you speak of udemy um you know even on youtube itself you're here now trying to learn something new okay so learn a couple of new skills graphic design ict skills how to budget okay how to spend more effectively you know you could even go as far as learn a new language how to cook a new recipe a recipe that has always fascinated you okay so learn a new um, skill start reading Pick up a new book, start reading, take up something new, okay? You could actually go get an audiobook, okay? Start reading, get books, read. Um, there, there's actually a uh, quotation I came across a while back. Um, it says the best way to hide information from a black man is to put it in books, okay? Books have a wealth of knowledge, wealth of wisdom, okay? So get books, start reading. Start building a new habit. Okay, um, habit, uh, a habit, if uh, putting a habit in my own words, okay, I have a habit is what I'll call your default setting. Okay, so there is an extent to which you keep doing something that at the end of the day it becomes more or less your default setting. Okay, so build a new habit, you know, a habit of how you spend, a habit of, you know, like a routine when you wake up, what you do, and you know, stuff like that. Start a garden, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is. I'll actually say this also will help with your mental health, okay, because it as well helps in relieving stress. You know, you could have a garden if, if you feel like, okay, you don't have a space, maybe you live in an apartment, you don't really have space where you can, um, you know, like land, where you can actually start farming. We have the option of container farming, 
okay you could just get a container in your house you know plant a few things tomato um peppers and you know a few things and you know start farming it is going to help you relieve stress it's going to be help you be productive you see, literally see you know um your efforts you know the efforts you put in um grow and bear fruits okay bond with family okay um with the way the world is, everyone is trying to make ends meet, everyone is struggling, everyone is hustling. So people don't really get to spend so much time with family and close friends anymore. Okay? So during this time, maximize um, all the other social media platforms that we have, right? Me uh, platforms where you get to still communicate. Um, you have the WhatsApp, you have the Skype calls, you have emo and you know a bunch of many others, okay? Maximize them. Reach out to long lost relatives, okay? Now find opportunities to work from home. Or okay. Now even if you have um let's say you have your business, a physical business, maybe you're a tutor, you're a teacher, or you're an entrepreneur, try to move your business online. I mean this is something we've been advocating for a long time. Okay, but people haven't really um found a reason to now you have a reason to okay so try as much as you can move your business online start working from home okay now over the next couple of videos uh, that i'll be uploading we'll be talking um especially about um using uh, google features okay most of the google made products okay so if you're interested in other feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those yeah create a master cv okay We've been working for so long, okay? Everyone is hustling, everyone has been trying to make, make ends meet, but now you have a chance to actually, you know, update your CV, create a, a, a more, um, you know, attracting CV, okay? Your resume, have a hobby, okay? This is something that um, I can't really stress or emphasize too much, okay? Now, it is recommended to have three hobbies, one that uh, makes you money, one that keeps you healthy, and one that keeps you creative, okay? I don't see any reason why you can't actually have one that does both, but hey, feel free to get three. But in whichever case, get a new hobby if you don't have one, or if you feel like, okay, you, you feel like exploring other ideas, okay, other um, opportunities, get a new hobby or master the ones that you already have like for me my one of my hobby is actually making things okay so this is actually a time for me to go ahead and, and try some new things you can follow me on my instagram to see some of the things i'm going to be making over the next um you know over this time next couple of days weeks years be by yourself okay now this is something that um personally i've actually come to learn and appreciate okay because when you're by yourself, you actually get to know yourself a little more, okay? You get to know the things that actually interest you a little more, the things that you don't like, the kind of people that you need to keep away from, the kind of people that you need to make e extra effort to reach out to, and you know, stuff like that. So be by yourself. Being alone doesn't necessarily mean that you are lonely, okay? Don't be scared of being alone. You'll be more productive. If you actually if you know how best you work like for me I have actually um, spent a considerable amount of time alone that now I know and I'm more or less a nocturnal, uh, nocturnal person okay so you need to spend time with yourself now when it comes to uh, things like reading um, I know I prefer the hard copy of a book to the e-copy pretty old school though, but <laughs> yeah um, so unless you actually start spending a little more time with yourself, you actually wouldn't know some of these things, okay? So it's good you spend some time with yourself, you know, get to know yourself better, okay? Thank you very much for staying to the end of this video. Be sure to leave in the comment section which of these things you'll be doing at home. Um, if you have any other suggestions, of course, leave them in the comment section. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share to others you know will benefit from this. Um, subscribe to get more uh, videos. Like I said, we'll be um, uploading a little more uh, frequently once uh, trying to see how we can upload uh, i can upload more videos once a week or twice a week okay but certainly every week a new video will be coming out um during this period i'll mostly be talking about um how you can start doing things online how you can maximize some of the google features okay other things of course with time we'll be going into um you know improving and building and managing your business online okay but in the meantime we'll be, uh, we'll be focusing on how to maximize google made products okay thank you very much for watching and uh, 